Hi. My name is Betty and this is Do It Yourself social media channel. In today's session, I'm going to be answering a common question. So thank you so much for asking this question, Vlog Inc. And it is practically asking if I could please explain a little bit further in detail how to promote on Pinterest so that you can get traffic to your YouTube channel. So having that said, let's get started. Okay, my very first piece of advice is to know that you want to use the platforms to create a cohesive brand, meaning that all the platforms that you're on on social media actually correlate and actually connect it to each other. And why would you want to do that? The reason you want to do this is because at the end of the day, people that may find you on Pinterest that may not know that you had a TikTok account or they may not know that they have that you had a YouTube account. And sometimes that people prefer one platform over another, another little bit more over another because we go through seasons and sometimes I'm a little more heavy on Pinterest as you know from the from the audience perspective. Sometimes I'm all about YouTube or sometimes as a YouTube creator, I just don't want to be on YouTube all the time. So having all your platforms be within the same brand and be cohesive is gonna help each other out. And obviously you wanna do this and be very mindful so that um, you know you don't create more work for you. So as mentioned before, I'm on Pinterest, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram and I'm on YouTube, but I'm not having to recreate the wheel at the same time. So if you're interested in learning about how to have a cohesive brand for beginners, and that's like how to create a palette and how to just make sure that you're not creating more workload, please let me know and I'm more than happy to share that. So having this said, this is my Pinterest. The first thing you wanna do is make sure that um, it is public, so a business account, and you will see that, let me go ahead and scoot it over, over here, right? I'm on the business account, so you can definitely change back and forth if you go to your settings, and you can definitely do either personal or business, and if you don't wanna um, have two separate ones, so you can definitely just change your personal to your business, and if you do wanna have separate ones, you can definitely do that then I would highly encourage you to create a, a banner just to make sure that everything again is cohesive and everything makes sense and people start recognizing your brand. You know, they are familiar with it. And here I just let people know that those are the other platforms I'm on. Okay, so after you created a business account or you publicize your personal account, now what you want to know about Pinterest is that besides you're promoting them with your banner, you can also actually connect them. So now I'm going to show you YouTube channel and I definitely have here Instagram. In my other channel, which I'm sure some of you are familiar, I did add Pinterest because my Pinterest goes more in hand with this brand versus my other sub brand. Then if you wanna learn how to do that, you all you have to do is go to your YouTube studio. After you go to your YouTube studio, you go to customization and you go into basic info. And here is where you can go ahead and add a second link. So I'll just go ahead and add a Pinterest. And then I'm gonna go to my Pinterest. And I'm just going to do here. You know what? I'll let that part which is created because that means it goes automatically to my creative um, pins that I did myself. Um, boom, publish. Now, the second thing I wanna do is go ahead and add it on, link it on my Instagram account. So you can go to settings here and you would go into apps and websites and you can pick it from here, Pinterest. You can also, if for some reason it's not working, you can do it from the Pinterest end. You don't have to actually do it from just Instagram. You can go the other way for sure. Um, and so here's the first thing. To drive direct traffic from your Pinterest. 
search engine to your channel you have again more options so we talked about banner we talked about connecting your other apps the third option is going to be when you go to your channel and you click on a video i'm going to do the most recent one because i haven't done that one you can go ahead and say share and select Pinterest. Now here I do have a folder for social media, created a board, so social media tips, and I save it. Now immediately after you do this, you want to see it now and you want to edit it a little bit more. Okay. And here is where you want to add, um, how to go on YouTube. How to be an influencer, influencer ideas. So anyway, here's where you want to go ahead and add some hashtags because hashtags are keywords on every single platform. So you definitely want to do how I plan my content and stay, stay motivated. Done. And so I'm going to go back later and add some more. So that's first way. Second way, again, if I were to have my Instagram where I were promoting this, you can also share a pin. So I'm going to show you profile. Let's see if I can do it from here. Share. Okay, you cannot do it from here, but I'm going to add a clip right now in this video where you can actually do it from your phone. So you're going to go into your Instagram account and you're going to click on the actual post that you want to share and you're going to click on the three little top, um, three little periods or dots on the top right corner and you're going to say share to and you're going to look for Pinterest and you're going to pick an image and I'm going to do I'm going to pick the board to share it. So the third most important one that you always want to do is create a pin from scratch. And so what you can do is repurpose any vertical videos. They love videos and Pinterest, anything that you may do for your other platforms, but you just want to do a direct upload. So you can create a pin, a pin from scratch and you just upload things now. So this is a test test pin here i make sure that i use a lot of keywords and i'm actually telling people what i want them to do similar chores were similar to what instagram is now doing where you go ahead and um and start creating very search engine optimization descriptions i do go ahead and add hashtags i make sure i link it to my youtube or the video directly this is up to you and then I publish on it a later date. And so these are the ways that you can promote your YouTube channel with Pinterest specifically. Now, Pinterest has also a lot of other benefits that you can see what's working and what's not working. So for example, we have um, a help center that I absolutely love. We have a business hub where you can actually see exactly how everything is going with all the metrics and so forth. We have um, analytics board. You can see organic and where everything's going, how your audience is engaging. Another one is um, you need an invite for this one or you did at one point. It is the business community and so you get to be part of different creator perks and different forums and this is also great for understanding the platform so having this said um definitely connecting with your website your youtube your pinterest you want to make sure that your whole brand is you don't want YouTube to carry all the way you want to make sure that Google helps with a website if you created one you want to help you want to make sure you take advantage of Pinterest. You want to make sure you take advantage of Instagram and have a presence and don't feel like you have 
to perform um, if you don't have the bandwidth to 100% in all the apps, but to have a presence and be able to utilize content in a smart way is going to help so much. So if you have any other questions or would like to see anything else that I did not talk about, please let me know down in the comments below and I will certainly answer those questions. Hope that helped. Be sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.